My name is Dr. Alex Porter, and today we'll be talking about clinical trial A221101, a phase three double-blind randomized placebo-controlled trial looking at the efficacy of armadafinil to reduce cancer-related fatigue for patients with high-grade glioma. High-grade glioma consists of glioblastoma, anaplastic astrocytoma, anaplastic oligodendroglioma, and mixed tumors and their subtypes. These are malignant, diffuse tumors that can be highly aggressive and require a combination of chemotherapy and radiation following a surgical diagnosis, and then at least six to 12 months of adjuvant chemotherapy thereafter. Armadafinil is a psychostimulant, currently FDA approved to improve wakefulness. What we're looking to do in this trial is to not only reduce the fatigue that can occur in patients following radiation therapy, but also to improve cognitive outcomes in these patients with these malignant tumors. Patients would be randomized at onset to either placebo or armadafinil at two different doses, 150 milligrams or 250 milligrams. This uh, drug is required to be taken on a daily basis and overall has been reported to be very well tolerated. In very few patients, headache has been noted to be a side effect. Um, other than that, patients tolerate it very well with, with very limited medication interactions. The trial goes on for eight weeks with cognitive and fatigue related testing at initiation at week four and week eight. At the end of the trial, if there's been proven to be a benefit, we have been approved to break the blind so that we can find out whether or not patients received the drug and can go forward with prescribing it in the future. In order to be eligible for this trial, you must have a diagnosis of either glioblastoma, anaplastic astrocytoma, or anaplastic oligodendroglioma, and various subtypes. You've got to be at least 18 years of age or older and have completed radiation therapy at least 21 days prior to enrollment of the study. We also require that patients that are on corticosteroids be on a stable dose for at least 14 days prior. If patients have been diagnosed with seizure disorders, we do insist that their seizure disorder be under good control and that they're not actively having seizures because certainly that can be another reason for developing fatigue. We've also put some basic exclusionary criteria, trying to differentiate cancer-related and radiation-related fatigue from secondary causes. So we'd ask that their hemoglobin be within normal limits, as would be the TSH. Because this drug can impact the CYP34A system, we've also listed uh, some medications that would be exclusionary. If this is a trial that you may be interested in, please contact us at mayoclinic.org or at the phone number listed on your screen. Thank you.